Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on different discretization schemes. So, in the last lecture we uh, talked about the uh, problems related to convection and diffusion and how to uh, solve them and uh, uh, we have uh, so far used the central differencing scheme because uh, what we have seen is that uh, we need to define the property at the uh, you know uh, control volume cell phase. And uh, there, uh, you know, how to define that, you know, uh, normally we take as uh, the, um, you know, average of the, uh, you know, uh, values which is uh, on the east and west side uh, node and that way we are calculating. Now, uh, what we see uh, normally when uh, uh, there will be convection dominated flow. In those cases, uh, it will be uh, you know uh, it will not give uh, proper result if we are using those schemes. So, in fact, what happens that in, in uh, such cases, uh, it will be more dependent upon uh, the upwind uh, node values. So, uh, you know in the case of uh, uh, you know the flow direction, whenever there is a uh, flow involved and flow direction is there. So, this central uh, differencing scheme does not uh, uh, do well. So, that when we can see, uh, we will see later on when we solve uh, uh, a problem based on that. Now, uh, in this lecture, we are going to have the discussion about the different, uh, you know, differencing schemes or discretization schemes which is available uh, for the prediction of the uh, cell phase value. Uh, you know, uh, uh, when we are, uh, we have to calculate those uh, uh, values uh, using the um, nodes which is towards east and west. So, uh, normally the, the schemes which are used are the central differencing scheme, uh, the upwind differencing scheme, hybrid differencing scheme, power law scheme. We have, uh, we will also discuss about the higher order schemes like quick scheme. Uh, and, and there are many more, but we will try to have uh, the understanding of these schemes, because uh, uh, when we do the um, modeling of the fluid flow, uh, you know inside the Tundis, at that time uh, in most of the modeling uh, tools or, or maybe softwares if we use, uh, we need to specify these uh, schemes and we must be uh, acquainted with uh, the effect, uh, what the different schemes uh, will be uh, generating, or uh, which are or the of the schemes are there which will not be used, uh, because uh, they will be having the problems uh, while the convergence of the solution or so. So we have talked about the central differencing scheme earlier, where uh, we take the you know. Uh, values uh, that is uh, based on the both the east and west uh, you know nodal values. Uh, then uh, next comes is the uh, upwind differencing scheme. Now, upwind differencing scheme uh, basically you know uh, it will be uh, normally uh, you know that uh, when you have the flow direction. So, uh, in case of flow direction the central differencing scheme has the inability. Now, that is being taken care of when you have uh, uh, the chance to use the upwind differencing scheme. So, basically when if you uh, look at if you have the uh, flow you know um, which is uh, there and which is if it is uh, flowing in the positive direction. So, you have the uh, you know uh, velocity uh, that is uh, uh, u w here at the cell face and here you have the uh, u e. 
Now, uh, what we do uh, normally uh, in the case of upwind differencing scheme or it, if it is it is also known as the donor cell differencing scheme. So, it will be taking into account the effect of this uh, uh, flow direction while uh, we try to find the uh, you know value at the cell phase. So, the convected value at this cell phase that is your uh, you know, west cell phase it will be taken as the value equal to the upstream node value. So, normally in the case of uh, upwind differencing scheme you are have when you are calculating the, uh, the, the convected flux uh, you know value. In that case uh, at this phase uh, it should be taken as the value at uh, the immediate upstream node that is uh, your w. So, uh, basically if you try to find the phi w uh, I mean that is at this phase it will be equal to the upstream is uh, this uh, w node. So, you have west node. So, you will have it will be equal to uh, west node uh, value. Similarly, uh, if we try to have the value of uh, value at E. So, for E the upstream uh, node is uh, immediate upstream node is P. So, that is why you get uh, the uh, phi E as um, phi p because this is the uh, value which this is a node where and, and anyway then you can have the expression in the form of uh, phi p phi w and phi e. So, accordingly you will have the a p phi p will be uh, you know uh, a phi e plus a w phi w plus s u that is what uh, uh, we get you know uh, uh, you know that equation which needs to be solved. So, uh, this way the, you know when you have a upwind differencing scheme you would get these values as this one and you get this value as this one and then you get uh, one equation and, uh, uh, and if your uh, uh, stream is in this uh, negative direction. So, anyway then uh, you have to take this uh, phi w. So, it will be if you are uh, having here. So, uh, the upstream uh, you know it is flowing in this direction so upstream is p. So, phi w will be um, phi at this uh, p node similarly phi e will be at phi uh, capital E that uh, nodal value. So, this uh, will be used to uh, you know discretize the equation and uh, uh, you get the uh, expression for phi p in terms of phi e and phi w and the source term which uh, needs to be solved. And uh, then uh, you get these values in terms of a p phi p that will be equal to a w phi w plus uh, a e phi. So, your central coefficient uh, will be uh, given by a w plus a e plus f e minus f w. Now, what we see that in the case of uh, uh, this upwind differencing scheme you know uh, you get uh, these values you can have the um, idea about how that uh, you know uh, changes. So, what we saw is that uh, you get uh, when you have the uh, flow in the positive x direction. So, your uh, phi uh, w that becomes uh, you know uh, phi at w node. Similarly, you get phi e. So, you will have the upstream node uh, that is p so, you will have uh, phi p. So, uh, you, you will have uh, so, what you uh, you can get the uh, values. So, you will have f e phi e and phi e will be phi p. So, f e phi p similarly you have uh, you know f w phi w. So, phi w will be anyway uh, phi at uh, the w node. Now, that will be uh, you know again you will have uh, the uh, d e and uh, d w values. So, d e will be multiplied by phi e minus phi p and then that will be d w multiplied by uh, phi p minus phi w. So, that is what uh, uh, we normally get and uh, then if you uh, try to solve. So, you can have the uh, phi p terms on one side. So, if you take phi p terms on um, one side, so you will have uh, this side it will be minus d and is this side it is 
uh, minus uh, d w is coming. So, and this side it is f p. So, that this will imply that if you take the uh, d e and uh, d w and then you will have f e. So, that will be multiplied by phi p. So, that is uh, the values uh, here and uh, that will be uh, equal to then you have the phi e and the uh, phi w term. So, you will have uh, the phi e has uh, here if you look at the you have the w term as uh, the two terms. So, uh, from here you get uh, the uh, d e phi e and for uh, w you get uh, d w plus f w into phi w. So, that way uh, you see that there will be change in uh, the equation. So, that you uh, get it. Now, uh, this will be uh, further uh, you know change. So, that is what you get uh, uh, from here. So, what you see that this will be d w plus f w and uh, you know and, and, and similarly you will have the d e. So, that is when f w is more than 0 and f e is more than 0 when u is positive in that case f w and f e will be that is rho u. So, it will be positive and that is why your a w will be d w plus f w that is what you see the a w will be d w plus f w similarly a e will be d e and uh, then uh, you will have uh, the um, uh, expression for a p. So, a p will be a w plus a e uh, plus f e minus uh, f w that is what uh, uh, you get uh, from uh, uh, here. So, and uh, when you have uh, the uh, velocity in the opposite direction in that case your upstream nodes are having uh, different values and in that case uh, uh, upstream uh, your uh, um, uh, cell phase values will be different because the upstream uh, direction is uh, now in the uh, negative uh, direction. So, for west it will be uh, p and for east it will be uh, e. So, accordingly your e expression changes and, and uh, that becomes again in, the, in that case it will be changing. So, uh, you will have uh, um, uh, the different uh, you know expression for uh, that case. Now, uh, this is how so in generalized way your uh, neighboring coefficients you will be having the uh, you know uh, a w as d w plus maximum of f uh, w uh, to 0 and this will be d plus uh, maximum 0 to uh, minus f e and uh, that is how you know you these uh, differencing schemes are uh, you know. Uh, used for predicting. So, normally whenever you have uh, this uh, you know uh, when the packlet number uh, is uh, important in those cases uh, you, um, especially when uh, the convection flow dominates in those cases these upwind differencing scheme uh, is seen to uh, work better. Now, the next uh, scheme which is uh, important is the uh, hybrid differencing scheme and uh, this scheme uh, is used when uh, you know uh, the central differencing scheme will be uh, useful for the diffusional problems when you have the diffusion dominant flow. So, in that case you take the uh, central differencing. Uh, so, you those uh, central differencing schemes are uh, you know useful whereas, when you have the convection dominated flow. So, you take uh, the uh, upwind uh, you know uh, differencing scheme. So, that is uh, because in the case of convection the, the upstream node is actually affects uh, you know more than the uh, downstream ones. So, in the case of a hybrid differencing what it takes is uh, it, it will take the effect uh, you know of uh, it will take the advantage you know uh, advantage of both central differencing as well as the uh, upwind differencing. And uh, you know uh, normally central differencing will be uh, useful when your packlet number is less. So, uh, in those cases and, and central differencing is basically uh, second order accurate whereas, the upwind differencing is first order accurate. So, also it has uh, the different traits. Now, uh, in those cases what we uh, is done is that uh, this uh, uh, hybrid differencing scheme it will be the uh, using the piecewise formula 
uh, you know and uh, that will be based on the local packet number. So, local packet number will be uh, uh, computed and based on that uh, it will be using that piecewise uh, you know formula uh, you know uh, for uh, finding the net flux through that uh, uh, control volume phase. So, uh, we know that uh, the uh, pe uh, this packet number is uh, nothing but the ratio of f to d. So, uh, you will have uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, so if you go to the uh, you know hybrid uh, you know hybrid differencing scheme. So, uh, as we know that uh, you have the uh, definition of packet number at the west face that will be f w by uh, you know d w. So, you know, find uh, rho u at the west face divided by uh, tau west by uh, delta you know x and that will be uh, w p. So, that is how you calculate these uh, uh, packet number at the uh, west face. Now, what is done is that in the case of the uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the hybrid differencing scheme, uh, we uh, find the uh, you know net flux uh, per unit area. So, net flux per unit area through west phase. So, that will be computed uh, using a formula and that formula will be like you will have q w. So, that will be you know f w and it will be multiplied by uh, half of 1 plus 2 by uh, picklet number at the waist. So, that will be uh, multiplied with the phi uh, w plus half of 1 minus 2 by uh, picklet number at the waist that will be phi p. So, uh, basically and when this packet number will be varying between minus 2 to uh, 2. So, in fact, uh, when the, uh, what we have seen earlier that uh, while uh, discussing the boundedness uh, uh, criteria related to the uh, differencing schemes that uh, for ensuring the um, you know coefficients to be positive uh, for A e especially in that case what we saw is that uh, you know uh, if the uh, packet number is more than 2 or f by d ratio is more than 2 in that case a is likely to be negative. So, so that is why uh, when it is between minus 2 to plus 2 in that case it is taking uh, you know the see the it is uh, having the uh, effect actually uh, you know uh, of both these uh, phi w as well as phi p. So, that is why um, you know it is known as hybrid it is taking uh, the uh, considerations for both these nodes uh, you know uh, uh, in one case and in other cases it will also change. So, the for uh, the value of from packet number from uh, minus 2 to 2 uh, in between uh, you will have uh, uh, this one because minus 2 means even if the flow direction is changing. So, in those cases your uh, uh, you know net flux per unit area through the west phase can be calculated using that. Now, uh, if your uh, uh, packet number will be uh, more than 2 in that case. So, if you see the convection uh, dominance is more uh, in the positive uh, direction in that case uh, uh, you know it will be go, uh, switching over to the uh, upwind mode because in those cases the upwind differencing schemes are uh, you know uh, said to be more stable or are more useful. So, in that case uh, the uh, q w it will be uh, you know uh, f w and phi will be at uh, the uh, uh, w. So, that will be in the upstream node will be the western uh, uh, node and uh, if uh, so, it is for uh, the packet number uh, the local packet number at this uh, phase it is uh, more than 2 and if it is uh, packet number is less than uh, you know less than 2 uh, in, in fact. So, in that case uh, you know uh, what you see is that uh, q w will be f w into phi p. 
So, that is the extreme node when we see the uh, flow in the opposite direction. So, that way your uh, F p will come. Now, uh, we can have uh, the values, these values uh, putting into the uh, discretized equation and uh, then uh, we get the uh, formula. So, what we get is that uh, this central coefficient, so A p, uh, you know A p phi p will be A w phi w plus A e phi if we write. So, in that case uh, you can have the uh, A p as the A w plus A e plus F e minus F w and uh, uh, for the uh, you know hybrid differencing schemes uh, you know for steady one dimensional convection diffusion neighboring coefficients can be written as the maximum of F w to D w plus F w by 2 and, uh, uh, and 0 similarly uh, you know minus F e and D minus uh, F e by 2. So, like that. So, uh, basically uh, so this is uh, how in the case of uh, hybrid differencing scheme it will take into account uh, uh, both the things like central differencing as well as upwind, uh, upwind differencing and then accordingly it will try to uh, you know uh, your the equations are solved and you can uh, see the accuracy with respect to the exact solution which we can uh, verify in our um, coming lectures uh, when we try to solve and uh, learn it through by solving a problem. The other kind of uh, differencing scheme which is uh, uh, used is uh, the uh, power law scheme. So, uh, this power law scheme, uh, so it will be using certain power depending upon the uh, you know uh, packlet number. So, uh, you know in, in this case uh, uh, what you see that you uh, see this uh, uh, you know packlet number raised to the power uh, 5. So, uh, in this case uh, uh, depending upon the uh, shell packet value when it will be uh, you know uh, it will be exceeding uh, 10. So, in those cases uh, it is assumed that the diffusion is 0. So, diffusion uh, will be set 0 and uh, uh, the flux will be calculated using a polynomial uh, you know uh, expression in this case. So, if you go to the uh, power law scheme. So, it is basically by uh, suggested by uh, Patankar, uh, so uh, researcher, uh, I mean uh, there is a book also a very uh, renowned book by the, the uh, authors uh, author that is S. V. Patankar. So, they have uh, uh, given uh, the invention uh, done the invention of this scheme. So, what it tells that uh, if it is uh, you know uh, the packlet uh, cell packlet value is more than 10 in that case the diffusion is said to be 0 and when the uh, cell packlet value will be between 0 to 10. In that case the uh, flux will be evaluated using a uh, polynomial expression and uh, so, uh, so in this case uh, flux uh, evaluated uh, using polynomial expression and uh, uh, if you uh, try to find the net you know uh, flux per unit area so uh, this one at uh, the uh, waste control volume phase So, that will be given by one um, polynomial expression and q w will be um, phi f w multiplied by um, phi at the uh, you know uh, west node minus beta w and this will be multiplied by phi p minus phi w. So, that is for uh, the uh, packlet value when it is uh, from 0 to uh, 10. And if the uh, you know uh, if the uh, packlet number is uh, more than 10 in that case it is uh, considered to be uh, purely diffusional. So, uh, diffusion is uh, said to be 0. So, that will be uh, again uh, going for the upwind differencing. So, uh, and in this case uh, beta w that is uh, an expression and that will be 1 minus 0 0.1 
uh, you know uh, percolate at the west face raised to the power. So, that will be all raised to the power 5 and divided by percolate uh, number. So, this is how uh, it will be depending and that is why it is known as a uh, power law. And when your percolate number will be more than 10 in that case the diffusion is, uh, is, is assumed to be seized and then it will behave as a the upwind differencing scheme. So, in that case the uh, Q w uh, that will be uh, the F w times uh, phi w. So, that is what is there for the uh, you know uh, the upwind differencing scheme where you have the uh, uh, upwind node is phi w. So, this is for packlet number more than 10. So, uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, coefficient also in this case as we see in this uh, case you have the coefficient coefficient will be a w plus a plus f e minus f w and as we see based on this uh, power law we have uh, uh, the uh, value for the a w and a uh, expressed in, in this form for the uh, power law you know uh, uh, power law schemes which are uh, uh, you know devised by the uh, Patankar. And uh, another you know scheme which is uh, also used that is the higher order scheme and that is uh, you know the quick scheme. Now, in this scheme basically uh, what we do is that you have uh, the two nodes on the two sides and we also take one more node in the upstream side. So, uh, you know if you have uh, uh, you know uh, so, in the case of the quick scheme, uh, so in this case this is uh, based on the you know quadratic uh, you know form. So, that is a quadratic upwind uh, differencing scheme. So, in that case what we do is that uh, you have uh, this is your uh, you know west face. So, this will be uh, west node. So, in that case you take another uh, you know that is w w and uh, this is w face and this is your uh, p. So, uh, you are getting uh, you know the, the flux value uh, in the form of uh, the values at the uh, these three nodes uh, in the this uh, quadratic uh, you know upwind scheme. So, uh, differencing upwind differencing scheme So that is what is known as uh, quick. Now, in this case uh, if you uh, look at uh, the uh, quadratic upwind scheme uh, if you try to understand in this case, case basically uh, the phi at the face this is uh, normally uh, calculated in terms of 6 by 8 uh, you know into phi at i minus 1 plus uh, 3 by 8 into uh, phi i and then you will have the minus 1 by 8 phi i minus 2. So, this is if your this is uh, i and this will be i minus. So, this is i. So, in fact, this is the, uh, the p point uh, this will be and uh, you are calculating that uh, phase here and this will be i this will be i minus 1 and this will be i minus 2. So, uh, basically you are calculating this uh, uh, you know th 6 by 8 of this portion 3 by 8 of this portion and minus of 1 by 8 into uh, uh, this portion. So, that way uh, you are uh, uh, getting. So, if you suppose you are try, trying to have the phi of the at uh, the w phase. So, in that case uh, 6 by 8 of uh, uh, phi w. So, uh, from here i minus 1 will be uh, here. So, that will be uh, phi w. Then uh, 3 by 8 i. So, it will be 3 by 8 of p phi p and 1 by 8 uh, of the w w. So, this uh, this phase i minus 2 will be the w w. So, phi and w w is taken. So, uh, this is how you know uh, you uh, calculate uh, you know the uh, values this is for the west phase. Similarly, if you have the control volume at the uh, east phase. So, in that case uh, you will have uh, the uh, values on, on uh, this side also. So, in on, on this side you have the uh, east face. So, your uh, you know uh, for for this you will have p w and e will be coming out. So, your phi e it will be 6 by 8 of 
uh, phi at uh, p node plus 3 by 8 of phi at e node and then minus 1 by 8 of phi of w node. So, uh, this is uh, you know uh, also this is a higher order um, uh, type of referencing scheme which is also uh, used you know uh, in uh, many cases and uh, uh, you know in, in this case the never coefficient will be you know, as you see it will be in terms of a w w also and a e also depending upon uh, where you are uh, trying to find and uh, accordingly you will have a w and uh, a w w a e and a e how uh, you know you uh, find it. So, that is how it is uh, uh, computed uh, in uh, such cases. So, uh, this is uh, these are the uh, you know in, in just uh, uh, we are having these uh, different types of uh, schemes apart from that we have also uh, you know uh, other schemes like TVD schemes are there you know. Uh, so, uh, so, there are many other schemes also which you may come across while uh, dealing with these uh, you know studies uh, and, and typically in the uh, you know softwares uh, you will be having the mention and basic uh, idea is that you must have the uh, understanding about how these uh, schemes uh, you know work, what are the fundamentals of these schemes and how they are used for uh, you know discretization. So, that is what uh, about uh, the uh, different discretization schemes. We will uh, discuss about uh, the, their performance by considering an example in our coming lecture. Thank you very much.